Hello everybody, my name is Kevin Porter from Craney UK and this video is part of a series that will introduce you to the product and features of the VIA collaboration range. On this occasion we're going to be using the new product in the VIA range, the VIA Campus Plus. This unit differs from the VIA Campus due to the fact that it has an HDMI input. Let's take a closer look at the HDMI input in action. Now in the best traditions of movie making, here is a unit I've prepared earlier. This device has been pre-configured on our network easily and quickly using the setup wizard. On my table is a laptop and this will connect wirelessly to the VIA Campus Plus. We also have a table bus system and this is cabled directly into the HDMI input of the Campus Plus. We will use this second laptop as an HDMI source. To present my laptop to the screen, I've connected a VIA pad and by pressing once, I'm mirroring my display onto the screen. Pressing again and the image is removed. Taking the HDMI cable, we can plug into the second laptop and this time, again, the image is mirrored on the screen. Removing the cable returns us to the VIA wallpaper. But the VIA allows us to share a screen with multiple participants. So I can press the VIA pad and present my laptop, simultaneously plug in the HDMI, and the two devices are now sharing the screen. As a reminder, the VIA Campus and VIA Campus Plus allow six people to simultaneously share a screen, and 12 people can share over two screens. One last feature of the HDMI input is the picture-in-picture -picture capability and using the picture-in-picture -picture icon of the VIA client we can change how the HDMI input is reflected on screen. This picture-in-picture -picture with a mouse connected to the VIA can be positioned anywhere on the screen. It can be resized and then using picture-in-picture -picture icon, turn it off. Thank you for watching the video and if you have any questions on the VIA or other supported features, please visit our website or contact the local Kramer office.